As a location scout, my typical day consists of research first. After reading a story or the script, I have to really think of where I could find something like this. And so I have to really research geographical area or the landscape. And then the next thing I do is get in the car. And I spend most of the day behind my steering wheel. So I have to make sure that I'm fully comfortable. Um, I have my camera with me. I have to have business cards, all the tools that you need to, if you do run across a neighbor, you need to be able to explain yourself and say, hey, can I take some pictures of your private property <laughs> and not get chased away? So even um, just being able to be articulate and speak clearly to strangers who are very unfamiliar with the process of filming and scouting. They've never met a location scout. And I have to be able to sell a concept and even to sell the fact that I'm a total stranger and I want to take pictures of your private property. At the end of the day, then my job is to take the best pictures to tell that story so that my director can see the story through my photographs and hopefully they'll pick my location. It is important that my pictures tell the story that I was reading. A lot of times directors have their own different styles, but I've had some directors that want my photographs to be a storyboard. And if it says the character goes into the foyer of the house and roller skates across the living room, then I have to photograph it in that order so that they can imagine this character going into a house. What does that doorway look like? What does the foyer look like? What does the floor look like? Is it a hardwood floor? Is it a marble floor? What is this? And they have to be able to see if that movement of my, you know, if my photos are in the order that tells that story. So a lot of times directors will flip through my photos in an online gallery and they will just decide if they like the images. And if they really like the images, they will go to that location in person and talk with the property owner and decide if it might work for the property and the timelines for filming work. Then they solidify an agreement with the owner.